Hey guys, you are listening to a brand new episode from the podcast Seeds Get Degrees. For all brand new updates and all brand new episodes, please visit Apple iTunes, iHeart, and Spotify today. Once again, guys, enjoy this brand new episode. All right, guys, welcome to Seas Get Degrees. We have Alex Lou on the other side here. He's actually joining us from Silicon Valley. Jumping on the podcast, guys, we're just going to freestyle this thing. So welcome to the pod. Thanks so much, Chad. Good to be here. Yeah, and we were discussing earlier the way I was, I'm like, pause, pause, pause. So we hit gold right away within, what, five minutes? Uh, maybe less. Yeah. <laughs> we got We got stuff to do. <laughs> So we're sitting here chatting and uh, my light bulb went off because he brought up the energy focus and how his actually his business or and his company is full time. Well, I would say his day job. Mm -hmm. All right, guys, do a refocus, refocus on your energy for this and take a day off, whatever, whatever the routine was you just stated. And I'm like, I have to talk about this because literally I had a crash yesterday putting all the focus into something. And then my brain's like done. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So uh, please elaborate exactly what you just said or kind of back up sure. kind of what that was about. Yeah, I do. And uh, no problem. So um, yeah, I'm Alex Liu and uh, my day job is I do management consulting for the fortune 100. So think like big technology companies, eBay, PayPal, uh, Cisco, and I do mergers and acquisitions, meaning, you know, working with people, processes, and systems to get acquired. Right. So um, that's my day job and <clears throat> big tech has been pushing really, really hard in the last you know, 12 months, uh, like, I, like I mentioned to Chad, you know, many video conferencing companies, uh, their headquarters, their global headquarters are literally down the road from me. And I, you know, really appreciate that opportunity. And that's where my, my day job is. Um, they also, in this industry, allow us to focus and re-energize ourselves. Like today, when we're recording, uh, it is what is called a day for me. And this is a company mandated day off where they say, hey, you know what? The world has changed. Everything has changed. Recognize that, internalize that and appreciate that, but spend a day and focus your efforts elsewhere, whether that's, you know, for me, my passion project for some other people might be their, their families, uh, you know, and that allows us to re-energize for the day job, right? And if you think about, you know, how a lot of us have to um, do code switching, gear switching between different things that you're working on and different things that we're focused on. And if you're constantly in this mode of gear changing and shifting, like you said, Chad, you're gonna end up in a crash, an energy crash. And rest is just as important in a long marathon, which we are all in, whether you're an entrepreneur, maybe especially if you're an entrepreneur. <laughs> and, um, and that's what we, you know, and, and I think that that's absolutely key. That is absolutely um, critical for your success in no matter what you do, right? If it's day job, family, family, fa passion project, entrepreneurship, investing, whatever you do, there will be those day. There will be those days where you need to take that time out and that rest, just to just to reset, right? And some people do it weekly. Some people do it every other week. Whatever your cadence is, respect that. And I think that's really what's allowed me to thrive in both my day job and my passion project. Okay. And speaking of the passion project, um, like I said, we have notes on this side of it, but. <laughs> What did you just release? Because you, you showed us yeah. a gift a little bit in the video here prior to recording. So explain yeah. exactly what's in your hand, bud. Okay, great. So this is a, a board game that I developed. It is called Dogs Bond. And uh, it is about rescue dogs finding their forever homes. 
So ages 10 and up, it's meant for, you know, kids that are learning how to, you know, take turns and, and match sets, but also too, for your friends group, like Chad and I, you could play, we could play, um, you know, or maybe even families with those uh, generations, uh, generational members who may need to be invited back to board games, right? They've never played a board game since, uh, you know, classic ones like Scrabble and Monopoly, right? So something new that the family overall can enjoy. Um, and Dogs Bond is for two to six players. It is about 45 to 60 minutes. And we recently went to a crowdfunding platform called Kickstarter, where we raised a little over $30,000 to make this happen. And so there are pre-orders happening now, and we are in manufacturing now, and crossing fingers and toes, we will be shipping copies of this game to our backers in May of 2021. And we will be generally available uh, you know, through your friendly local game shop and maybe even your friendly local animal rescue, right? On their virtual stores and things like that, um, you know, at the same time. So <clears throat> I know this is a big focus on like animal rescue and dogs and stuff. Are you, once this gets established, are you kind of adding a little bit of percentage back to like the shelters and stuff? We are 100%, uh, you know, backing real life animal rescues. You know, come take a look at our uh, our two minute video. It's at www.dogsbondgame.com. And uh, there you'll actually see uh, myself giving a little kind of uh, project overview about the board game. And then in the video, we actually have Addy Dawes from the Golden Gate Bastard Rescue, an actual real life volunteer who's working at a real life rescue, um, you know, talking about the mission, talking about that shared mission to improve the lives of animals. Um, we are donating to uh, animal rescues, uh, a percentage of, this, of the proceeds. Um, we have right now locked in about 25 re animal rescues across the US um, and shout out to some of the other rescues that you know, we're, we're hoping to pull in. Um, you know, the Wisconsin German short-haired pointer rescue, uh, you know, Fond du Lac Humane Society, right? These are groups that we've reached out to and are excited, right? As soon as we get into print, we'll have their affiliate links, you know, kind of ready to go. We will take care of the ordering, shipping, packing, and of course the accounting to get them a percentage of that, of that sale. So yes, we are absolutely backing our, our real life rescues. And he just brought up another thing to a new industry that kind of popped up. And I'm going to use the term drop shipping because it's pretty much affiliate marketing <laughs> slash drop shipping. And we can go explain in this one because I'm part of it. I'm sure. Well, actually, you are part of it now with the board game. Part of it. The game has changed in the last, what, three years? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Two years yeah. somewhere? That's all like the Alibaba's, the Etsy's, the, mm -hmm. I mean, Shopify's. We can go what 150 of those things <laughs> yeah exactly um and i'm just smiling because it's like the retail business is not what it was back in the day like you don't need to have any inventory so we're going to go on a little bit of entrepreneurship for like and you know, i'm going to focus on these centers sure if you guys want to buy a board game and put them in the center and, and teach people that's fine on the other end of it you don't need to own one you can say, hey, guys, you want to make a fun? Boom, go order it. You guys take care of the ship and you guys take care of the billing, Correct. whatever it is. So pretty much what it is, is you're leveraging or it's shelters or whoever it is, is leveraging a system mm -hmm. that back in the day, everyone would stress out over inventory. There's barely any inventory. Correct. Right. We wanted to make it as simple as possible to empower these rescues to use our product as a fundraiser, right? We know that most of these rescues are volunteer led and they're donation driven, right? So how do we manage to, you know, provide for these great organizations that are, frankly, they're supposed to be helping dogs, right? Their focus, their energy, their passion is helping dogs. We talked about the passion earlier. Their, their efforts are helping individual animals, right? One dog at a time. How do they cover the cost of food, the cost of bedding, the cost of crates, the cost of transportation, right? Um, and for me, I work in shelter. Well, I, I volunteer in animal rescues. And a lot of times it's 
you know, just the volunteers band-aiding stuff together and making it happen. Um, this game I designed because I wanted my family to be able to gather around a table to play a game where the younger kids, the teenagers and the adults could all play and all have fun. And I've tested it on my family. Thanks guys. Uh, and, uh, you know, they survived. Right. Um, and we had a great old time, right? But the real kind of hope here is that this project will be able to, you know, because you're focusing on rescue dogs finding their forever homes, you play as that dog. It is designed to build in also a conversation about responsible dog ownership, rescue, adoption, so that we can create a positive change in the way we discuss our animal friendships and rescue. And uh, definitely give Chad and me a like if you caught that pun. <laughs> yeah. 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 No, I'm, I'm, I'm actually smiling. We were discussing earlier that, and I don't think I brought this up or not. I actually have a handful of friends that either volunteer or run. And one of them is, and I'm going to dig this up here. I don't, guys, typically we do not go on our phones during the interviews. Um, <laughs> I'm breaking a rule right here because I need to know exactly where she is uh down donating her time because okay she is at all right the wags See, yeah, is... wag okay wait a minute um yep. wags and whiskers rescue in minneapolis so okay. on top of my mind or on my facebook i have a very 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 good friend and she just stated yesterday actually so we're recording on a monday march 1st um February 28th, they had 23 dogs and eight cats come into the adoption or uh, into the shelter. Mm -hmm. And it is mm -hmm. uh, wagsmn.org. So it is all the Twin City stuff. Um, we do have a shelter here in Green Bay, too. We do have, like you said, you're actually very familiar with my area here because you're <laughs> here, but That's up right. and down the whole corridor of 41, 94, all the interstates mm -hmm. here. Um, there's, especially down in Milwaukee, too, there's a lot of animals See, going through the shelters. And here's what's really interesting, Chad, is that no matter where I go in the US, Canada, Japan, Germany, the UK, Italy, like Australia, wherever I go, animal adoption seems to be run and organized the same way. It is a group of individuals who stand up and they have big hearts so they take in these animals, they organize their own adoption days, adoption fairs, raising funds. It's a true passion project, right? Where they're giving back. And I know, I mean, I volunteer with them. I don't run a rescue myself, but uh, I volunteer with multiple here in the Bay Area. And just to see that amount of passion, you know, it's so incredible. But we also too know that these groups, you know, sometimes, you know, I follow them on the Facebook pages or Instagram pages. And like every other post is we need money. We need money. We need money. We, will you please donate? Please help us please, this dog. Right. And I really wanted to come up with a way where I could donate into perpetuity, right. Not just my own earned income, but really make it a way where, you know, every time somebody clicked that buy now button, a portion of the money, you know, I, I was, I would be raising funds for animal rescue, regardless of where they are regionally, you know, country wise, it it's worldwide. Right. I mean, as long as you, well, at the moment, as long as you speak English uh, and read and write English, right. And you play board games and you love dogs like this, this game could be the game for you and your family and every single copy of the game, we are donating a portion of that fund to actual rescue. And that's always been the driver. That's always been the point. Um, over a hundred rescues actually reviewed our project and signed on and said, hey, we support this project. This is a great idea, right? Um, and it was, it was also really strange to me that several rescues asked me, you know, hey, we, we wanna be part of this group. How much does it cost to join? And it, and it frightened me. I was like, you're, you are what? Like, let me help you. This is free to you, like zero cost. I just want 
you, you to be successful. Um, you know, and, and I know that there are tons of other projects and programs and, and other, you know, tools that, you know, Hey, if you buy my scented candles, I'm donating a portion to this animal rescue. If you buy my, uh, you know, uh, Tupperware, you know, I'm making, you know, just yeah, kind of yeah, general yeah, examples yeah. there, but, yeah. um, but they all donate to rescue and, you know, that's great because the rescue doesn't take or hold on to any inventory. They don't got to worry about shipping. They're actually out no money, right? All they're doing is just putting a link and saying, hey, do you like these kinds of products? These kinds of products are supporting us. So that's what we're doing. That's how Dogs Bond has always been structured. Um, if you know a rescue, actually the the, the Wags and Tails, is it? In, yeah, that's uh, one in Minneapolis. That my in friend Minneapolis, yeah. So I yep. don't have a rescue partnered with me in uh, in Minneapolis or uh, or Minnesota yet. So let me know. We'll, we'll yeah, catch I'll, up with I'll, that. I'll, I'll I'll share your info to her. Awesome. Or, or and, uh, uh, send it to you, vice versa, perfect. whatever it is. You'll get it. Yeah. Perfect. Yeah. Um, but yeah, if you're, if you know, any of your listeners are in animal rescue or know of an animal rescue, um, have, and, and, and they don't know about dogs bond yet, reach out to us, www.dogsbondgame.com. There's actually a link to join the pack. And if you are a animal rescuer or an animal rescue organization, you sign up there, we'll get in contact. We'll get it all set up. We want to be the dog we want to be the uh, board game for all dog people worldwide. I'm dude. I'm going to end it right there because you just <laughs> dropped it right there. So we're, we're going to, we're going to, you just gave me all your info on the dogs, dog mm -hmm. part. Tell everyone where we can find you on Facebook and Instagram. Uh, it's super simple. Dogs bond game on Facebook, on Instagram, on Twitter. We are in the process of, you know, working it together. And I, and I want to emphasize, we, it, it's a team of three, right? It's myself, my illustrator, Sarah, and my graphic designer, Kiki. We are putting all of our sweat, blood, and tears and, you know, energy and passion behind this. Um, but we are a very small team, right? I mean, I, my day job, I interact and work with and support a com you know, companies of 100,000 people this is the passion project and it's very tightly woven. And so if we, if you get us an email and we don't respond to you in, you know, 30 seconds, please forgive us. <laughs> this is still very much the, um, you know, kind of entrepreneurial side of, of what I'm doing. But again, I want to give back. I want to contribute back. And uh, I hope that, you know, you and your listeners will join us on this journey, um, adopt dogs bond into your game night. And, uh, and and give us that forever home. All right, no problem, man. We're, I'm going to end the pod, call her even, and then uh, we'll go from there. So 